for my second action, I'm just, I'm going to do the same thing as the first action, more or less, um, and just rinse the shirt in water, but I'm going to use warm water this time. Um, so it's not like ice cold like it was before. It's also not like scalding hot. Uh, so I'm just going to take the shirt, put it in, and maybe like rub some parts of the shirt together. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to actually get the stains out or if it's just going to spread them around, but it's something. Yeah, sorry, watch me, watch me wash dishes isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but, well, this isn't dishes, but you know what I mean. So the dishwater is actually a little cloudy, which makes me think some things got off. Um, and I think we're looking a little better than we were before. And the ketchup is pretty faded now. Same with the salad dressing. Uh, the marker didn't change at all. The grass is pretty much the same as it was. The burnt paper... Um, there's the dirt and then the chocolate is just that little smudge there. So that warm water actually worked pretty well, but now, now we're making progress, but remember our goal is we want this to be a clean white shirt again. So we still got a long way to go. Um, so after this action, what you're going to do, um, there are 21 other actions that I'm going to take. There might actually be more. I don't remember. Um, but you're going to decide what actions you want to use for the lab. Um, make sure that you fill up data table number three. Um, but do whatever actions you think are interesting. Try to like compare different soaps. Um, maybe use some of the bonus stains. Um, and you can certainly go beyond data table three. Um, remember the goal of this lab is to learn how to remove stains, not to just like complete the lab, especially since grading is probably going to be weird this marking period.